Pershing on the inside of Bachelor's Walk. Bubble Trouble is fourth, and Jesmond Lodge trying to close on them in fifth. Break to Abbott, Royal Avatar. On the run to the second last now. Can't be done in the lead from Bachelor's Walk with Jesmond Lodge improving on the inside. Bubble Trouble on the outer and then Pershing. Can't be done over in front. From Jesmond Lodge in second and then a break to in third place Bachelor's Walk. Coming down now to the final flight and can't be done is the leader at the last from Jesmond Lodge. In second and third is Bachelor's Walk. Inside the last 200 now. Can't be done. Strongly pressed on the inside by Jesmond Lodge as they run up towards the finish. It's ahead, Barber. Can't be done on the near side for Sean Flanagan, Jesmond Lodge. And they're well clear of the third home, Bachelor's Walk, who's followed in by Bubble Trouble and Pershing. Pershing on the inside of Bachelor's Walk. Bubble Trouble is fourth. And Jesmond Lodge trying to close on them in fifth. Break to Abbott, Royal Avatar. On the run to the second last now. Can't be done in the lead from Bachelor's Walk with Jesmond Lodge improving on the inside. Bubble Trouble on the outer and then Pershing. Can't be done over in front. From Jesmond Lodge in second and then a break to in third place Bachelor's Walk. Coming down now to the final flight and can't be done is the leader at the last from Jesmond Lodge. In second and third is Bachelor's Walk. Inside the last 200 now. Can't be done. Strongly pressed on the inside by Jesmond Lodge as they run up towards the finish. It's ahead, Barber. Can't be done on the near side for Sean Flanagan, Jesmond Lodge. And they're well clear of the third home, Bachelor's Walk, who's followed in by Bubble Trouble and Pershing. On their outside, turning for home now with three to jump. Mr. Bossman, the leader, from Riviera Sun in the center, Crater Star and Spaceship. On they come now towards the second last, and Mr. Bossman is the leader from Riviera Sun. They're followed by Spaceship and Credo Star. Beginning the run now to the final flight. Mr. Bossman, Spaceship and Riviera Sun on the near side. They're coming down to the last now. Three in line, Riviera Sun. Going to rise just in the lead. Mr. Bossman and Spaceship and it's Riviera Sun. As they race up towards the finish. Riviera Sun in the lead for Mr. Bossman and Spaceship. And going to the finish, Riviera Sun. And Mark Walsh will win for Mr. Bossman second. Spaceship is third and Crater Star four. On their outside, turning for home now with three to jump. Mr. Bossman, the leader, from Riviera Sun in the center, Crater Star and Spaceship. On they come now towards the second last, and Mr. Bossman is the leader from Riviera Sun. They're followed by Spaceship and Crater Star. Beginning the run now to the final flight, Mr. Bossman, Spaceship and Riviera Sun on the near side. They're coming down to the last now, three in line, Riviera Sun. Going to rise just in the lead, Mr. Bossman and Spaceship and it's Riviera Sun. As they race up towards the finish, Riviera Sun in the lead for Mr. Bossman and Spaceship. And going to the finish, Riviera Sun and Mark Walsh will win for Mr. Bossman second. Spaceship is third and Crater Star four. They're being followed as they swing into the straight by what's on the menu. Coming on now towards this one, Barney King. Glendar's best baby, Jake, improving in the center now for Brian Hayes. They're followed by Lady Germany. After them is the yellow bin who's trying to get into contention. As they jump this one, baby Jake lands a couple in front. Being followed in second place by, on the near side, Glendar's best. And then comes Barney King, who's still trying to stay on the final flight now. And baby Jake over a couple of lengths clear. A faller with Shazar at the last, but on the run up to the finish. Baby Jake from Barney King is trying to raise another effort, but up to the finish. Baby Jake, driven out by Brian Hayes, will beat off in second place. Barney King, Glendar's best, Diesel 10 is fourth. Then came the yellow bin, followed in by Lady Germany. 
They're being followed as they swing into the straight by what's on the menu. Coming on now towards this one, Barney King. Glendar's best baby, Jake, improving in the center now for Brian Hayes. They're followed by Lady Germany. After them is the yellow bin who's trying to get into contention. As they jump this one, baby Jake lands a couple in front. Being followed in second place by, on the near side, Glendar's best. And then comes Barney King, who's still trying to stay on the final flight now. And baby Jake over a couple of lengths clear. A faller with Shazar at the last, but on the run up to the finish. Baby Jake from Barney King, who's trying to raise another effort. But up to the finish, baby Jake, driven out by Brian Hayes, will beat off in second place. Barney King, Glendar's best, Diesel 10 is fourth. Then came the yellow bin, followed in by Lady Germany. They come now towards the third last and Gangster lands just in the lead from in second place too many notes rock on fruity and some tank Cecil Corbett towards the outside and then Isabel's princess two from the finish now gangster lands in the lead Cecil Corbett too many notes rock on fruity now they begin the run to the final flight and it's gangster in the lead Cecil Corbett on the outside at the final flight and gangster is over Cecil Corbett three to four lengths to make up second rock on fruity is third too many notes in fourth and up towards the finish it's Gangster and Brian Cooper will win very convincingly from Cecil Corbett. Rock on Fruity, too many notes, and they're well clear of Isabel's Princess. They come now towards the third last, and Gangster lands just in the lead from in second place too many notes rock on fruity and some tank Cecil Corbett towards the outside and then Isabel's princess two from the finish now gangster lands in the lead Cecil Corbett too many notes rock on fruity now they begin the run to the final flight and it's gangster in the lead Cecil Corbett on the outside at the final flight and gangster is over Cecil Corbett three to four lengths to make up second rock on fruity is third too many notes in fourth and up towards the finish it's it's Gangster, and Brian Cooper will win very convincingly from Cecil Corbett. Rock on Fruity, too many notes, and they're well clear of Isabel's Princess. Steel King is pushed along, then getting into it again is Cape Glory, and they're followed by the grey wood breeze who's improving, and then Shabras Bertolini with three to jump now. It's from Frost and Jack Kennedy in the centre, who just leads from Azorian on the far side. They're being followed by the grey wood breeze, Bishop's Lock, and on the outside, Cape Glory. From Frost, Bishop's Lock, and on the near side is Cape Glory, the grey on the far side, wood breeze, down now to the final flight. And there's very little between them. Cape Glory. The grey on the inside is Wood Breeze. They're followed by From Frost and Bishop's Lock. And it's Cape Glory and Brian Cooper in the lead as they run up towards the finish. It's Cape Glory driven out by Brian Cooper. Quick double for him. Will score by three lengths. From Frost, Wood Breeze and Steel King followed in fifth place by Bishop's Lock. Steel King is pushed along, then getting into it again is Cape Glory, and they're followed by the grey wood breeze who's improving, and then Shabras Bertolini with three to jump now. It's from Frost and Jack Kennedy in the centre, who just leads from Azorian on the far side. They're being followed by the grey wood breeze, Bishop's Lock, and on the outside, Cape Glory. From Frost, Bishop's Lock, and on the near side is Cape Glory, the grey on the far side, wood breeze, down now to the final flight. And there's very little between them. Cape Glory. The grey on the inside is Wood Breeze. They're followed by From Frost and Bishop's Lock. And it's Cape Glory and Brian Cooper in the lead as they run up towards the finish. It's Cape Glory driven out by Brian Cooper. Quick double for him. Will score by three lengths. From Frost, Wood Breeze and Steel King followed in fifth place by Bishop's Lock.
So at the third last flight, Caledon Crack is over just in the lead. Being chased in second place, Fangio towards the near side. In the center is Northrock Dolia Boo. On the far side is Chief of Panama. Be seeing you is just behind the leaders with tipped up Harry. Now on the near side, Fangio and Brian Cooper goes to the front from Caledon Crack in second and then a break to tipped up Harry and be seeing you at the final flight. Fangio is over in the lead from Caledon Crack and then tipped up Harry as they race up towards the final 100 yards. It is Brian Cooper again on Fangio. He completes a fine treble as Fangio scores by five lengths from Caledon Crack tipped up Harry and close for the fourth place between Posh Frock and Be Seeing You, followed in by Joe Go and Wandering Agus. So at the third last flight, Caledon Crack is over just in the lead. Being chased in second place, Fangio towards the near side. In the center is Northrock Dolia Boo. On the far side is Chief of Panama. Be seeing you is just behind the leaders with tipped up Harry. Now on the near side, Fangio and Brian Cooper goes to the front from Caledon Crack in second and then a break to tipped up Harry and be seeing you at the final flight. Fangio is over in the lead from Caledon Crack and then tipped up Harry as they Race up towards the final 100 yards. It is Brian Cooper again on Fangio. He completes a fine treble as Fangio scores by five lengths from Caledon Crack tipped up Harry and close for the fourth place between Posh Frock and Be Seeing You, followed in by Joe Go and Wandering Agus. Kilkiskin's first staying on towards the inside ahead of Military Road. Now they begin the run to the final furling and a half. Oathkeeper and Prince Dobrell. These in front of Canadian Steel and House Patsy racing on now towards the final furlong. Oathkeeper from Prince Dobrell on the far side. Racing well inside the last 200 yards now and it's Oathkeeper and Sarah O'Brien racing on now stretching on from Prince Dobrell and running up towards the finish. Oathkeeper out clear for Sarah O'Brien will win by five lengths. Prince Dobrell is second. Canadian Steel followed in fourth place by Hunter's Call and after them comes House Patsy. Kilkiskin's first staying on towards the inside ahead of Military Road. Now they begin the run to the final furling and a half. Oathkeeper and Prince Dobrell. These in front of Canadian Steel and House Patsy racing on now towards the final furlong. Oathkeeper from Prince Dobrell on the far side racing well inside the last 200 yards now and it's Oathkeeper and Sarah O'Brien racing on now stretching on from Prince Dobrell and running up towards the finish. Oathkeeper out clear for Sarah O'Brien will win by five lengths. Prince Dobrell is second. Canadian Steel followed in fourth place by Hunter's Call and after them comes House Patsy.